Hey there, my name is Mike, and today I would like to go over the advanced programming features of the Copper and Current Designs 15VP flashlight driver. For this demo, I have one of those drivers installed in this Copper and Current Hinton, but the same instructions would work with any other host that the driver was installed in. Before we get started here, the programming menu does have some flashing lights in it. So if you are photo sensitive, please refrain from watching the rest of this video. And the other thing to note before we get started, the programming menu is entirely self-driven. So it's good to know beforehand what changes you're going to make to the driver. That way when you get into it, it's a lot easier just to kind of change them as they come up. So today the changes I would like to make, I am going to switch this light from having four outputs to three, so three brightness levels. I'm also going to turn on hybrid mode memory and adjust the brightness on the third output a little bit brighter. So let's get started. To get into the programming menu, you tap the tail switch 50 times or more. You don't need to count. There's a little light show that plays. So you just basically keep tapping until you see it. There we go. Looks like this. We're now in the first programming menu item and you see it's flashing four times. That's because the circuit is configured for four output levels right now. I want it to have three. So I'm going to turn the light on and off and you'll see it's flashing once. So that's one output. It's now flashing twice. So it's set to two outputs. And it's now flashing three times, which is what I want. So I'm just going to leave it alone and it's going to go on to the next programming menu on its own. Okay, so this is programming menu two. You saw the two flashes there to indicate the second programming menu. It's showing the stored brightness for output level one. This is the stored brightness for output level two. Not interested in changing this one, so I'm just going to leave it. This is the stored brightness for level three. I do want to change this one. So I'm going to turn the light off and back on. Let me go back into the menu item. And you can see it starts ramping up slowly. It is quite slow. This is to give you some time to take a look at the brightness and decide if this is where you want it. For the more technically minded person, I do have a chart on my documentation website that lists the milliamp drive levels for each of these brightnesses that you're seeing now. So if you have a target brightness you're going for, you can look it up there. I'm just going to wait here. I want it to go to the maximum brightness. So I'm just going to hold on. When it gets to the top, it'll do a quick double blink to indicate that it's reached the top of the ramp. And when I see that, I'm going to turn it off to indicate that I want that. There we go. So let's turn it off. And back on, it's going to go back into the fifth menu, or the, sorry, the fourth menu item here. It's going to show the stored brightness, and then it's going to move on to the next menu item. So the next menu is mode memory. This is the sixth menu item. Right now it's flashing once, which indicates that memory is turned off. Just going to tap it there. It's now flashing twice, which is classic mode memory. And I said I wanted hybrid, so we're gonna do one more here. And you'll see it's flashing three times, so hybrid mode memory. So I like that, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's gonna go to the next menu item, which is menu item seven. You'll be able to see that by the seven flashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This menu item is debounce. It's flashing three times right now, which means it's set to medium. That's a good setting, just leave it alone. It means that when you bang your light, it won't switch brightness levels on you. The eighth menu item, which it's going to right now, is step down. It's flashing twice to indicate that that's turned on. We can switch it, turn it off, back on again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, so the eighth menu item, and now it's only flashing once to indicate it's been turned off. I do like step down though. Step down 
As the battery voltage drops, it decreases the output so you get longer runtime. I personally like it, so I leave it on. So we have it where we want it. We're not going to touch it. We're just going to leave it alone. And it's going to go to the ninth and final menu item here. Now this menu is three volt mode. It's not intended for a light like this, which doesn't support a three volt battery. But if you had like a two times double A light, then you could turn on this mode and it would allow you to change the, the voltage warnings for when your light gets low. I don't want to change it. I'm just going to leave it alone. And there you go. It exits all on its own. So just to recap, with the programming menu, it's entirely self-driven. Once you enter it, there is no way to exit. You just have to leave it. So if you enter programming by accident, you don't want to change anything, just set the light down, let it exit on its own. If you do want to change something, go into the programming mode. When you get to the setting you want to change, tap the tail switch off, tap it back on, and set the setting appropriately. Then when you're done setting that setting, put the light down, let it continue, and it will exit on its own automatically. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any questions about programming, send me an email anytime. My email address is copperandcurrent at gmail.com, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.